Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial we'll see how to create this really cool glitch effect to your picture inside Adobe Photoshop. And then we'll see how to save it as a template so that you can easily use the same effect to other picture or even text using smart objects. Alright, fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, so open your Adobe Photoshop and go to File, New, and we're gonna create a new document with 5000 in the width and 3000 in the height and 72 in the resolution and press OK. Now, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna convert this into a smart object. This way, we can create our own template. Alright, so now we're gonna right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Now, I'm just gonna double click to it. And I'm just gonna put the picture I want to use in here. So just drag the picture you want to use and open it in here. Now I'm gonna press Ctrl T so I can resize it like so. Alright, now I'm gonna press Ctrl S so I can save it. And I'm just gonna close this. And as you can see, you'll find this in here saved as smart object. Now I'm gonna press Ctrl J so I can duplicate it and I'm gonna uncheck this one so I can use it later. Now we're gonna uh, apply three wave to this picture. So we're gonna go to filter, distort, wave, and in the type in here, it's really important that is square checked, and in undefined area, make sure repeat edges pixels checked, and just uh, write the same values that I'm gonna write in here. and press OK. If you didn't get the same wave that I get in here, just go back to wave by double click to this one in here and check randomize and you will get in each time you check randomize you will get a different result. You know, just keep checking it until you are satisfied with the results you have and press OK. Alright, now we go back to filter, distort and gonna make a new wave and just type the same values that I'm gonna write in here. And press OK. Alright, now we're gonna go to filter again and choose the sort wave and just type the same values that I'm gonna type in here. And press OK. Alright, now I'm gonna go to adjustments and choose black and white. And I'm gonna drag my texture in here and open it like so. You'll find this PSD along with the texture in the link from the description below. So just download it in the, in the description below. Alright, so I'm gonna put it like so. And I'm gonna make the blending mode to lighten and put the fill to 30%. Alright, now I'm gonna create a folder, so I'm just gonna go to this and create a new folder, I'm gonna call this glitch1 and I'm gonna make a copy of this one in here and put it in the folder, so I'm gonna press Ctrl G and make it in the folder in here and in the color in here just make sure black to white is uh, on like that, you know, if you don't uh, find it in different color, like so, you okay, can just press D and it will make it in the default black to white. Alright, now I'm gonna go to filter, filter gallery, and in the sketch folder in here, just open it and choose half pattern and make sure the size is 1 and the contrast is 0, and in the pattern type, just choose line and press OK. Alright, now I'm gonna make a copy of this one in here by pressing Ctrl J and I'm gonna put this one into a uh, darken and I'll go back to this one in here and I'm gonna make a wave to it so go to filter, distort, wave and just put the values that I'm gonna put in here.
and press OK. Alright, now I'm gonna uh, make a copy of this texture in here and put it on the top of this one in here. And I'm gonna go to and choose solid color and gonna make a, a, a red color, like so, just a solid red color. And I'm gonna change the blending mode to darken. And I will go to the folder itself and I will change the blending mode to lighten. And as you can see, this will create as a really cool glitch effect to it. But I think it would be better if we can just put this into the right a little bit. So I'm gonna go to this uh, picture in here and press Ctrl T and make it into the right a little bit, like so. As you can see, this will give us a really uh, more cool glitch to it. All right. Now I'm gonna make a copy of this folder in here. So I'm just gonna press Ctrl J. This way you can uh, make a, a copy. And I'm gonna call this glitch 2 and I'm gonna change the values of this uh, wave that we apply in here so I'm just gonna double click to it and just put these values in here that I'm gonna uh, type and press OK and now we're gonna uh, make it into the left this time so we're gonna press ctrl T and make it like so and I'm gonna change the color to a green color you can choose whatever color you want but I think red and green make sense for the glitch all right and press ok now the last thing we're gonna do we're gonna add a color lookup to our image so we're gonna go and choose adjustment color lookup and in the 3d loot in here just choose crisp warm look and this will add this really cool effect to our picture so I'm just gonna put the fill to 50% and there you go now the reason why we kept this in the top in here you can easily just check it and make the, the the opacity to zero and the fill to zero and we can use it as a template so I'm gonna just type put your picture in here like that and just double click to it and you can just easily uh, put any picture you want let's say this one in here and resize it like so and press Ctrl S to save it now if I go back to my documents in here I will find this in here saved as a glitch effect in here alright so I hope that you like and you enjoyed this tutorial and this was a little helpful for you don't forget to share and comment and like this video and wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day thank you for watching